Hi everyone, I'm Obi from Middle East and today I'll be showing you how to make konefa bil krema or in English konefa with cream. It's a traditional Ramadan dessert eaten in Egypt that has a delicious cream filling between layers of crispy konefa. Before we get started I just want to say thanks for all the support so far and if you're enjoying the videos don't forget to like and subscribe. This recipe is adapted from the classic cream filled konefa recipe by Clea Butterer. To get started you'll need 400 grams of konefa 180 grams of ghee or 250 grams of butter, 300 grams of sugar, 600 ml of heavy cream, 150 ml of water, 3 tablespoons of corn flour, 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract or vanillin, half of a lemon, 2 small pieces of mastic and 100 grams of pistachio slices. If you're living outside of the Middle East you should be able to find konefa in the freezer of Turkish or Greek supermarkets. It's usually labelled as kadaifi. First thing you'll prepare is the simple syrup that will be used to sweeten the konefa. Add your vanillin or vanilla extract to a small saucepan along with 250 grams of your sugar. Then add 150 ml of water and a squeeze of lemon juice. If you want to add orange blossom or rose water pour in a teaspoon to the mixture. Place the pot on a high heat and let it come to a boil. Don't stir it as that can cause crystals to form in the syrup. Once it boils, turn the heat down to low and let it simmer for 10 minutes. When done, pour it into a small jug and let it cool completely. Next you'll prepare the cream. Add the 600ml of heavy cream to a saucepan and then add 3 tablespoons of sugar. Next, add 3 tablespoons of corn flour to the mixture and then stir to combine. It's normal for this to get a bit lumpy. Just keep mixing it until only small lumps remain. If you're adding mastic, place it in a small piece of wax paper and crush it into a powder, then add it to your cream mixture. Place the pot with the cream on a medium high heat and whisk constantly for around 5 minutes until it comes to a boil. The corn flour should fully dissolve and you should notice it start to thicken. Once it reaches the consistency of custard, mix it for another minute then remove from the heat. Pour out the mixture into a large bowl and cover the top with some plastic wrap to prevent a crust from forming. Leave it to cool completely till we need it later. Next you'll need to clarify some butter. If you have ghee you won't need to do this. Place 250 grams of butter in a pot and melt it on high heat. Make sure to use a tall pot as this will get foamy and can boil over. Once it's fully melted leave it to boil for a few minutes until the bubbly foam disappears and there is a floating layer on top of the melted butter that is completely separate. When the layer has formed pour your clarified butter out into a jug or deep jar. Prepare your konefa by placing it in a large bowl. Then using some kitchen scissors or a knife, cut it so that you are left with strands about 2.5 cm or 1 inch long. If your konefa is fresh, you might be able to tear it by hand. Once you've divided it all up to 1 inch segments, you can start to separate the individual fibres from each other. Grab a clump of konefa and pull at the strands until they start to separate. You don't need to pull them all apart, but you are aiming to unclump as much of this as possible. You should have a pile of fine strands like this when you are done. If you aren't using this immediately, cover it so it doesn't dry out. Looking at the cooled butter, you'll see your clarified butter at the top of the jug and milk solids at the bottom of the jug. The milk solids will burn if we use them, so we need to gather just the yellow clarified butter from the jug. I recommend not tipping the jug as that can mix the milk solids into the butter again. Just use a ladle or measuring cup to scoop out 180 grams of the clarified butter. Next, you'll mix your konefa and clarified butter together. Setting aside half of each will make it easier to mix in. Pour about half of the clarified butter in the bowl with half of the konefa and then mix it thoroughly. Make sure to mix from the bottom of the bowl as the butter tends to settle there. Rub your konefa together like you'd do if hand washing clothes and it should develop a uniform yellow colour from the butter. Once it's looking fairly uniform, add your remaining konefa and clarified butter. 
and mix again until it's well combined and all of the conifer is the same shade of yellow. Prepare a 10 inch round cake tray by adding a tablespoon of butter or any remaining clarified butter. Spread it evenly on the base and the walls using a kitchen towel, making sure to spread to the top of the walls as your conifer will go quite high up. Next, start adding your conifer to the tray. Grab a handful and place it into the tray, fluffing it up as you set it down so that you don't get any clumps of conifa. Keep on adding it till you've placed an even layer on the base using about a third of the conifa. Next, use a measuring cup or heavy object to compact and press down the conifa until you get it fairly flat. Push the conifa using the measuring cup towards the walls and press the conifa flat against them. Once you've compacted the walls and base, go back and add more conifa around the edge of the tray and along the walls and fill in any gaps or thin spots in the base until you have used up about two thirds of the conifa. The walls should be about two centimeters higher than the base as we will place the filling in the middle. Keep compacting the conifa till it is uniformly thick and the walls are about one centimeter wide. Grab the bowl containing your cream mixture and give it a quick mix in case it has solidified. Then pour it into the conifa right in the center. Spread the cream out using a spatula or a spoon all the way to the walls until there is an even layer through the whole conifa. Once the cream has been spread, fold any excess conifa walls down onto the cream, pressing them down slightly till they rest on the surface of the cream. Next, grab a few handfuls of the remaining conifa and spread it out gently on top of the cream, making sure to pull the conifa clumps apart as you are placing them. Keep adding more conifa until you have made a thin layer over the top. Then go back and place more conifa anywhere you find a small gap or the top is unlevel. Once you have completely covered the cream, gently push the conifa down using your hands. You want to make sure that you don't press too hard as you don't want to push the conifa into the cream. You just want to flatten the top layer so it's level and there are no strands poking upwards. Finally, go around the rim of the tray and push any wayward strands of conifa down against the top. Preheat your oven to 200 degrees Celsius and place the conifa right in the middle of the oven. It will bake for 30 to 45 minutes. You'll know it's ready when the top has gone a golden brown color and the sides have pulled away from the wall of the pan. Take it out of the oven and immediately apply the syrup. You should hear it sizzle as you pour it in. First, go around the walls of the conifer, then pour the remaining syrup evenly over the center. Let it sit for 15 minutes so the conifer can cool and the syrup can be absorbed. Once it's sat, place a serving dish onto the baking tray and gripping both firmly, flip the two over so your conifer is now sitting on the serving dish. Then remove the baking tray. To decorate, I'm just going to place some slices of pistachio around the rim of the conifer. You can use almonds or walnuts instead. So here's the final product with a delicious cream layer between two crispy layers of conifer. This is best eaten warm. So once it's ready, dig right in. So that's how you make konefa bil krema, which is usually served in Egypt during Ramadan. There are lots of different styles of konefa in the Middle East, including some with cheese and some rolled into cones. In Egypt, it's normally flavored with vanilla and mastic, but across the region, you'll find it flavored with rose and orange blossom syrup. I'll be sure to bring you more konefa recipes in the future. I hope you'll give this one a try and let me know how it turns out. The ingredient amounts and directions are in the description box below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe and I'll be back soon with another video.